I'm Jack Conwell with Kenny Johnson, well known as the Unknown Pilot RC. This is a uh, GT80, which I ran it for the last couple years, but this year we put on an electric start, and uh, we just did a test run, we're going to do another one here, and it seems to work exceptionally well. As you can see, we kept all the mag and all that stuff on it, but we moved the mags to the back, out of the way, and then we added this little relay to kill the mags with a uh, RXL uh, ignition kill on it. So everything seems to work pretty good. You can also see we put a little velocity stack on there. So. Okay, start it up. Set up. You can see we had to split the mufflers and put them on backwards to get the uh, starter motor up in there, but everything works pretty cool. You can see the uh, servo mounts all 3D printed, the velocity stack all 3D printed, and we may give you the 3D, uh, 3D printing uh, for the uh, servo mounts on the website. So. This is the Balsa USA kit with wing tubes, so it looks just a little bit odd, that's okay. So coming up here, you're gonna see the little LED that comes on with the ignition. Next, you're gonna see uh, the gear that was put on the crankshaft. That's the first thing we had to do, make sure that would work, and it's a tapered crankshaft, and it's 14 millimeter, and you have to, the crankshaft is 15, so you have to take off just a little bit and make a lip for that gear to set on, not very much at all. And uh, the motor mount is uh, a redone from the, and not too proud of it, but it did work. It'd been better off just to make everything out of one. You can see the four holes do line up with the gear. And basically that's where you go in and adjust the backlash on your starters so you have a little backlash in there. So that part worked out pretty good. And so coming up here, you'll see the carburetor's actually mounted up upside down, but these are just set up that I took along. Uh, this is the uh, tube made out of two street 90s. We also had to turn the carburetor, so we just faced it forward and put a velocity stack on it. And the next picture coming up is just where we was trying to fit everything in place. Um, next one coming up is you can see the coils mounted on the side, which uh, you'll see the electric wire coming out right there and the coil still mounted on the side. You'll see a, a heat tube right there that goes around the starter. The velocity stacks, you know, in place. Just trying to fit everything up right here to, to make sure everything's going to work. So it is a big job. So if you're not a TIG welder or have a buddy who has a TIG welder, you got a weak, weak heart, don't try this, okay? Uh, you can see the carburetor linkage worked out really good. Everything came along uh, exceptionally well after we we got the basic three things uh, in place, which was uh, the gear, the mount, and the carburetor. Once we figured it out, the rest of it just kind of fell in place. Um, you also see I used, uh, looks like helicopter gears on this plane. That's how I put it in now the trailer. You see it with the mufflers uh, coming up with the uh, all the stuff we came up. The velocity stack's going to need to be remade. It's got too much volume up around the carburetor. It needs to be narrowed up, but it works. You can see a good picture here of the side view. We also had to clear the uh, cow on the airplane. So, you know, just little things like that coming up here. And see where the throttle and choke is at. Good setup on the linkage. 
I mean, that, that worked perfect. You can see the uh, servo mounts that we make here. All ABS, something that's, you know, pretty tough. So coming up here, we're going to see just uh, everything put together. And the next thing, you're going to have a video on how to hook the ignition up or how we hook the ignition up. So kind of stay tuned on that. Thanks for watching this part anyway. And hope it gives you some kind of inspiration. I'm Jack Conwell, well known as the Unknown Pilot RC, and that's also the YouTube website, along with Kenny Johnson. Uh, his uh, YouTube site is Altitude Limits. So we work on different projects uh, together, and we kind of go back and forth. We do things for RC plane as well as race cars. Uh, we've been doing this for like 30 years, so uh, subscribe to our channel. One of the reasons is was we designed last year two different hydraulic gear set systems. They only weigh like 14 ounces. They take place of your air system. We came up with a brake hydraulic system, which works really good also. It only weighs like 8 ounces. It's all self-contained. Works really good. This year we put a starter on a GT80. And we also came up with a servo mount, which we use on quite a few of our planes, and we'll give you the G-codes on that. Uh, one of the things that uh, Kenny's been working on, which looks really good, if you have a rear-mounted carburetor, uh, he has came up with an idea that you mount the servos right on your carburetor. And you can test everything out, hook your linkage up, and then install it in your airplane. It's all one slick little system that works really cool, so that's coming up also. But going back to this uh, setup we got right here, we've got six planes that uses this setup. This is the only one, a GT80 with the mag kill on it. And uh, so we're going to talk about it. It just takes one switch to turn everything off. So it's really simple. I want to point out that the uh, over here we see an R. 6014 FS which will not work with this system because it only puts out 2.7 volts on the signal which isn't enough to run the RXL ignition module or the starter module so keep that in mind and on your other receivers you need to make sure and put your endpoints up to 135 140 going each way to uh, get them to work. So on our mag kill, it's 12 volts. If you use an ignition, which is 12 volts, you can tie it down here instead of the mag kill. Everything runs off your starter pack, which your starter pack only gets used for like four or five seconds on the start. So and your ignition doesn't really use that much. So you just will use that battery if you can. If not, you can run it back to your receiver pull off 6.6 .6 volts from another battery if you want to. So we're going to turn the radio on, follow the rules, radio on first, and we're going to turn this on. So you see just a little bit of flash. Our switch is it on or is it off, on, on. And so we're going to turn it on. This represents the starter motor over here, this light. You're going to see the LEDs talk to you here just a little bit. So we're going to turn it on. You see our ignition's on, our starter's on, and it goes off after four or five seconds. So when starting your plane, turn your choke on. Whatever you think you might need, hit your starter switch, and just take your finger and move it back to the slider that runs your choke. Now if it doesn't start up, just turn it back off and cycle it again. And you'll find out that that starter switch is really cool. Works pretty simple. This is the way we've been doing Just one switch. You know, you got enough stuff to think about when you're flying. So keep things simple as far as that goes. Now one of the safety features is, is let's say our radio is on and we shut the airplane off. Our radio is still on. We're still in start mode now and our ignition comes on as you can see 
but the starter did not. So to get it out of that mode, we just simply turn it off, cycle it back on again. Hopefully your motor starts and you're ready to go. So pretty cool. Now the next thing we're going to run a little safety test on is we're going to shut the transmitter off. The transmitter is still in the on mode, okay? Now we're going to turn the airplane on. You know, we didn't follow the rules. Transmitter's on first again. But that little module, then again, it knows something is not quite cool, okay? We turn the transmitter on. This is going to come on again, but this is not. Now that's not 100%, so you still want to make sure that, you know, where you're around the airplane or have a hold of it or whatever you want to do, but just simply turn it back off back on again and get into start mode and hopefully it starts up so this is the way we've been doing it and it seems to work exceptionally well so uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, if you do use an ignition module make sure that it is 12 volts or get your voltage hooked up right to it uh, if you are using a mag you want a mag kill Make sure it is normally closed, so if you lose voltage to it, it will kill your motor. Uh, they do make these, another company does, but we use the RXL on all of our planes, so it's just something that's pretty common to us. Just a simple relay, we mount it on the firewall to keep any funny stuff from getting back into the airplane at all. So, hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Bye.